Hi friends, welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about the difference between instance and static variable in Java. In our previous video, we have discussed about three types of variables in Java. So nothing but local variable, instance variable and static variable. So already in that video, we have discussed what is instance variable, what is static variable, how to access or how to call instance and static variables. In case if you haven't watched that video, the video link is available in the description. So please watch it. Now let us get into this video. So in this video, we will be concentrating only on the difference between instance and static variable and, and which variable I can make it instance and which variable I will make it static. So that we'll see so first let me declare one instance variable so let me take a variable let it be a and i'm initializing with l i'm declaring this variable in a class scope without static keyword so it will become an instance variable so already we are familiar already we have discussed in our previous video instance variables are tied with the object so which means if i want to call instance variable i need to create an object and for each object there will be a separate copy of instance variable For example, you can look at my code. I have an instance variable A and I have created two objects for this particular class. So because of instance variable, so because of this instance variable, what will happen? So let me make it in my paint so that it will be very clear. So BS of two object creation. Let me assume that I have two object in my memory. So one is object one, another one is object two. This is my object 1 and this is my object 2. Now here A is the instance variable and if it is instance variable, each object will take its, its, its separate copy or individual copy of A. So here A is the instance variable. So instance variable are tied with the object. So which means each and every object will come with its own copy of its instance variable. So finally coming to this program. So initially for object 1, I have a separate copy of A and the value is 10. The same way for object 2, I have a separate copy of instance variable A and initially both will be 10. So just to verify our output, I'm just displaying the <coughs> value of A by using these two object. So let me say obj one dot A. Also, I will display the value of A by using object two as well. So initially, with the help of this diagram, easily we can understand 
both will print 10. If I run this code. So let me save and let me run this code. Let us observe our output. You can look at my output for both case initially it is displaying the value of a as 10 so now what i am going to i am just going to change this instance variable a by using one object it will be object one i am changing the value of a which is instance variable by using first object let me make it as 20 so now because of this assignment what will happen easily you can observe easily you can understand it will affect only object one so finally for object one the value of a will become 20 but will it affect object two no Because object 2 has its own separate copy. So object 1 have its own separate copy. So now here what I am doing, I am trying to change, I am changing the value of instance variable by using object 1. So which means it will affect only object 1. What about object 2? For as per object 2, still the value of instance variable a is 10. Let us verify our output. So I'm just displaying both values by using object 1 as well as object 2. So for object 1, the value will be 20. Yes, I have modified value of A by using object 1. But if I observe object 2, it will be the same old value. So this is about instance variable. So let us run and we'll observe the output. You can see only for object one, the value of instance variable is changed. But for object two, still it is same the old value. So friends, I hope we are clear about instance variable. I'm summarizing the point once again. So instance variable, I will declare in a class code without static keyboard. So each object in a particular class, each object will make or it will maintain its own copy of instance variable. So which means if I am modifying the value of instance variable by using one object, so that will reflect only in that particular object. It will not affect another object. So this is the usage of instance variable now let me make the same program with static variable since it's a static variable i have to come with the keyword static so now it will become static or class variable in our previous video we have discussed i can call the static variable by using class name and by using the variable name itself and also I can call by using reference. So finally, we have three ways to call the static variables, right? And in our previous video itself, we have discussed, so static variable, it's like a global variable in a particular class. And each and every object of that class is going to share the same common copy. So now what will happen? So now in this program what will happen since it's a instant sorry since it's a static variable it is not tied with the object so which means so this object will not maintain an individual copy of static variable 
let me take the same diagram so now what will happen since it's a static variable it will be a global copy a equal to 20 sorry a equal to 10 each and every update is going to share the same copy right so now value of a is 10 since it's a static variable it's a global right so here what is happening here each object of the particular class is going to share the same copy so now i hope easily you can predict the output so initially i'm trying to display the static variable of a by using object 1 and object 2 initially both will display 10 so after that what i'm doing i'm changing the value of static variable a by using opj1 since it's a instant sorry since, since it's a single copy what will happen if i modified this variable by using any object so that will get reflect on other object also yes it's a single copy right so finally after modification if i try to display the value of a by using object 1 or object 2 in both case i will be getting same value so let us run this code and we'll run our output we'll observe our output you can look at the output so in case of instance variable it was affecting only the particular object but in case of static variable you can see it is reflecting on all the object so this is the difference between instance and static variable so finally the summarization is instance variable means each object will maintain an individual copy but static is global to all the object in a particular class so now we'll see, we'll discuss one more point let me take a scenario employee class okay let me take a scenario employee class in a employee class just assume that i have a employee id as a variable and i have a organization name as a variable easily you can predict which one will be a instance and which one will be the static variable so employee just assume that i have a class employee so there I have two variable employee id and organization name so here employee id can be a instance variable Yes, you know, each employee will come with their own employee ID, which means each object has to maintain its own copy of employee ID variable. Yes, for employee 1, employee ID will be the different. For employee 2, the employee ID will be the different. So that's why in an employee class, I will make employee ID as an instance variable. But in that organization, all the employees is going to share the common organization name. Right? So this organization name, I can make it a static variable. So friends, I hope clear. So whenever we are getting application or whenever we are getting a, a requirement, so in that requirement first of all we need to identify what should be instance variable and what should be static variable so if we are very clear about the difference between instance and static variable then easily we can identify what should be instance variable and what should be static variable so friends i hope we are clear about the difference between instance and static variable in java also which one we will make it as instance and which variable we will make it as static variable 
so thanks friends for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe and click on the bell icon so that as soon as i upload the new video you will be getting the notification also you can share it with your friends